Hey, what's up? It's James from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. Though not many great fantasy dramas premiered in the first half of 2023, there are still some hidden gems worth exploring. In today's video, I'll be sharing the top 10 best Chinese historical costume Xianxia fantasy dramas that premiered in the first half of 2023 that you need to check out. From stunning visuals to captivating storylines and impressive CGI, these dramas offer a delightful viewing experience. If you're having trouble finding where to watch any drama from this list with English subtitles, don't worry. Drop me a message on my Discord server and I'll be more than happy to assist you in locating where to watch it with English subtitles. I'll leave the link to my Discord server in the description down below. I want to remind you guys, the dramas on this list appear in no particular order, so consider this more of a recommendation list than a ranking. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 1. The Blood of Youth, starring Li Hongyi, Liu Shuiyi, and Ao Rei Peng. The Blood of Youth is a 40 episode drama adapted from the novel Xiao Nian Ge Xing by Zhou Munan that has also been adapted into a popular donghua that tells the story of a group of young people in their late teens and early 20s going into Jianghu, the martial arts world, in a wuxia Xianxia world. This drama is not draggy and it has breathtaking action sequences, beautiful CGI special effects, romance between the male main leads, and good storytelling. Number 2. The Starry Love, starring Chen Xingxu and Li Landi. The Starry Love, previously called Love When the Stars Fall, is a 40 episode drama said to be the sequel to the 2018 hit drama Ashes of Love that starred Deng Lun and Yang Zi. This drama is the third installment of the Honey trilogy, with the first being Ashes of Love and the second being Skate into Love, but the three dramas aren't connected plot wise, but do share the common theme of love. The Starry Love is based on the novel of the same name and tells the story of two princesses, one good and one evil. He Xuanlin plays Qing Kui, Ye Tan's older sister who's gentle and kind. She gets betrothed to the immortal tribe as the heavenly consort. Li Landi plays Ye Tan and Qing Kui's younger sister who's smart and cunning. She gets betrothed to the demon tribe as the demon consort, but something happens and the two sisters switch spots, paving the way for two beautiful romances and also igniting a conspiracy that shakes the four realms. This drama has beautiful CGI special effects and amazing chemistry between the first and second main leads. This drama is also a comedy and the entire cast did an amazing job portraying their roles. Number 3. Back from the Brink, starring Neo Ho and Zhou Ye. Back from the Brink is a 40 episode drama adapted from the novel Hu Xin that tells the story of Tian Yao, the ancient dragon. After his lover's betrayal, he was badly wounded and heartbroken. The woman he loved betrayed him by dismembering him and stripping him of his dragon scales and then sealing his body parts in five places. But by luck, his soul escapes and he meets Yan Hui. Despite its flaws, the drama remains a thoroughly entertaining and enjoyable watch. Number 4. Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu. Till the End of the Moon is a 40 episode Xianxia drama adapted from the novel Black Moonlight Holds the B.E. script. The drama tells the story of the daughter of a powerful sect leader who ultimately sacrifices herself to rewrite history and the future in a desperate state of wanting to save the world from the clutches of the demon lord. So she gets sent 500 years into the past to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona, despite the undeniable visual spectacle offered by its CGI and few sequences. Number 5. Beauty of Resilience, starring Zhu Jingyi and Fiction Guo. Beauty of Resilience is a 36 episode drama adapted from the novel Wu Chang Sheng. In the mortal world's Wei Kingdom, immortality remains elusive for most, but Wei Zhi, a young woman with a troubled reputation, bravely seeks signs of immortality during a ceremony. This leads her and a group of 36 to the prestigious Egret Academy, 
where the talented third daughter of the Wei family becomes a contender for possessing the Phoenix bloodline. Unbeknownst to them, their strict leader, Yan Yue, is the monarch of the heavens, seeking the one with the potential to yield the destructive power of the Phoenix. Despite heavenly restrictions, Yan Yue finds himself captivated by Wei Zhi's intelligence and resilience, setting the stage for an extraordinary journey bridging the mortal world and the heavens. Before I continue with the video, I want to thank you guys for your support on Ko-Fi. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. Or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more, and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. Number 6. Snow Eagle Lord, starring Shu Kai and Gul Nazar. Snow Eagle Lord is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name that has also been adapted into a popular anime series. Snow Eagle Lord tells the story of Dongbo Shueying, a boy raised in a small peaceful town, whose peaceful life is disturbed when his mother gets arrested by a foreign tribe, so he's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his mother. Shu Kai and the rest of the cast deliver decent performances, but the storyline itself left much to be desired. The main leads had limited screen time, overshadowed by the supporting cast. However, Shu Kai and Gul Nazar's on-screen chemistry was a highlight, and the drama's costumes were well done. On the flip side, the fight scenes were lacking, and the costume of Uncle Tong San felt underwhelming. Nevertheless, the original soundtrack added a positive touch to the overall experience. Number 7. The Journey of Chong Zi, starring Yang Chaoye and Jeremy Jones Xu. The Journey of Chong Zi is a 40-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Chong Zi, an optimistic and kind girl who is born with a dark power, who gets turned away from society and gets treated badly because of her supposedly evil spirit. In her most desperate time of need, she gets saved by an immortal, who takes her as his only apprentice and teaches her cultivation when he identifies the dark power within her as part of the demon clan. He also decides to protect her from both humans and demons, who want to manipulate her for their own gain. This drama's teacher-pupil romance storyline is typical in Xianxia stories like the 2015 drama The Journey of Flower, but it's accompanied by a captivating original soundtrack and acceptable CGI. Number 8. The Legends of Changing Dynasty, starring Raymond Lam and Jiang Munjie. The Legends of Changing Dynasty is a 43-episode drama adapted from a novel by Jia Yu Bu Shigui that tells the story of a mortal man who accidentally time travels to the past and becomes the Monkey King. Unwilling to accept his fate, he embarks on a journey that brings him to face gods and demons. Six years have passed since this drama concluded filming, and it's evident in the visuals, CGI, and costumes that they may not match today's standard of a Shanxia drama. Number 9. Dominator of Martial Gods, starring Jian Yu and Chen Ying. Dominator of Martial Gods is a 30-episode drama adapted from the novel Valkyrie Dominates by Dark Mage, and it tells the story of the rebirth of Qin Cheng, a man who experiences the betrayal of both his best friend and lover and sets off on the road of hegemony once more. Qin Cheng was once a legendary being in the Wu continent, but he suffered a devastating downfall that shattered his world. However, Destiny has other plans, and three centuries later, he gets reborn into the body of a royal family's illegitimate son. Armed with the wisdom of his past life, Qin Chun embarks on a path of redemption and vengeance. Despite its shortcomings like low production value and average acting, this drama shines brightly with its captivating plot. Number 10. Legend of Lin Ye, starring Richard Li and Li Junchen. Legend of Lin Ye is a 34-episode drama where immortals and demons tread divergent paths, yet a common way exists in this mystical world. What defines an immortal? What shapes a demon? And how does the concept of righteousness intertwine with their destinies? As old friends reunite amidst a swirling flurry of wind and snow, the unfolding tale unravels the secrets and complexities of these extraordinary beings. If you're in search of an engaging romance drama, I highly recommend giving this one a shot. If you'd like to support me, consider giving this video a super thanks. It's the heart-shaped button with the dollar sign below this video. Or you can support me on Ko-Fi by contributing a dollar or more, and I'll leave the link to my Ko-Fi page in the description down below. 
feel free to share your preferred Chinese historical costume Xianchao fantasy drama of the first half of 2023 in the comments section below. I'm curious to hear what your favorite picks are. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on the screen right now. That's all I have for you today. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you in the next video.